Today I'm taking off the hatch that covers our main engine. Um, there's a few odd welding jobs that I've got to do down there, so that I've, I've put a, um, a structural beam that I'll show you in. I've put that in over the, uh, the last few days, and I've just got to finish off the welding for that. And I've also uh, welded in a couple of patches in the hull. It's all been welded from the outside. Now I've got to weld the inside to make sure that's all good. Um, to do that, I can't get my big welder uh, down there. The, the, um, the cord is just not long enough for it, so I have to. Uh, uh, basically take this engine cover off. I'm going to sit it back about six inches and then just put all of the cables down so that I can get in there and weld the bits that I need. So I'll show you how um, we take off our main engine cover. So I uh, had a few bolts holding down this, um, this lid, it's, it's not perfectly true to the deck so it, um, when it just sits there it's off the deck about an inch or so so you've got to bolt it right down to get it flush. Um, we just had, the, we had it bolted down for the last few months just so it's easy to walk across the deck and everything. And one of the bolts that I've, I've put it on with for some reason is playing silly buggers and isn't coming undone so I'm going to cut it off um, so I can get this friggin hatch off the boat. <laughs> So this is our um, main engine hatch, so this is essentially right in the middle of our lounge. I'm currently in the lounge room right now. Um, there's a hatch that's about three metres by about a metre wide. Um, so when we get our engine in and out, we turn um, 90 degrees to the sea lines. We go in sideways, then spin it around on the crane and drop it down onto its beds. Um, so I'll see if I can show you some of the welding I've got to do and you can understand why I had to pull this off. So this is the centre of the boat, just in front of the main engine hatch. You can just make out that there's some new steel in here. Um, that was a structural beam that I rebuilt. Um, so basically I have to drill all of these holes all the way through. They go through that and then they carry on and they line up with these holes here on the main hatch. Um, so what I have to do is essentially, you can see there's a gap between the, the deck plate and that structural beam. So I have to obviously clamp that all down and get it nice and tight and then um, weld that nice and solid all the way along so it's watertight. Uh, and then go through and drill those holes, blast it all painted, etc. And then, um, yeah, refit this hatch. There's also a wee bit of uh, welding to do in the engine bay, so I'll show you that as well. So this is the last of the holes in the engine bay that I have to fill up. So you can see that there's still these, these big tags on it. Um, I basically use those to line it. So you can see I've, I've tack welded it on just here, um, and then it sticks, the, so the edge of the plate is right there, and it sticks out about maybe five, 10 mil, something like that. Um, same deal with these ones at the back here, there's two of those and that just allows me when I put the plate in it sits level with the current floor um, and then I can just do fine tuning adjustment on the outside as I need it to make sure it's all flush. So what I've got to do is knock off these tags, this is tonight's job, knock these tags off and then V out all the way around this weld all the way around so you can see I've welded it but that's from the outside so it's come halfway through so I need to now basically go through V it all out um, and, and do a nice big you know um, dig it all out basically with a grinder and then uh, fill it up with weld from this side and then essentially we end up with um, probably about maybe 12 mil half inch of of weld on 6 mil plate so it's a, it's a really solid, solid strong join at that point so yeah tonight's job hopefully we'll get that all finished so this is the plate that was welded in um, I've, I've just finished the welding right now sort of thing so this is the one I showed you a little bit earlier um, that need to be V'd out and cleaned up and all the tags taken off 
So I've knocked the tags off, I've V'd the, um, the welds out, and then I've gone over and welded everything. So, um, they're fairly, fairly big, chunky welds. Um, I don't mind having large welds like that. I'd rather have that than risk any of them coming loose. So, again, no formal training, but I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's come up all right. So this is the uh, beam that I welded up on the top. I just sort of chuck a bead across there. So, just a not a huge bead. Doesn't have to be massive, but um, yeah, just enough to hold it. Should be plenty strong. So, basically, what the design is is that you can sort of see there it's two pieces of steel sandwiched together. Uh, the camera doesn't really focus, but yeah. So you've got a on the right hand side you've got a piece of 75 by 75 angle. Let me get a light up in there. So yeah, 75 angle just there, and that runs all the way along. You can sort of see all the way down there the hatch bolts to it. So I've got to drill holes through this new piece, and there's a piece of 75 by 6 flat um, welded to it. So I'll probably run a bead all the way along the bottom of that as well. You can see there's a couple of manky old tacks there. I'll grind those off, um, V it out, and then fill that out with weld all the way along. It's not welded all the way along, as you can see further down, and there's obviously rust and stuff up and up here. It's a bit. Um, hard to see the light but you can sort of see it's come apart a wee bit there so eventually I'll probably have to cut that out and replace it but I should get a wee while out of it I'm not too stressed about that um, she's a nearly 50 year old boat so um, there's always going to be the odd bit like that but yeah that's the last of the engine bay welding so that's pretty cool I'm really happy with that so I hope you enjoyed that we've got heaps more coming up on building brew peg so please like and subscribe to our channel and if you thought it was awesome share it with your mates